All right, time for a tough workout. We're going to be using the sandbag, and um, you can grab a towel or a mat for the abdominal work. Four exercises, um, three rounds. Here we go.
So that's the whole workout. <laughs> the first two rounds I did the um, exercises with the heavier resistance and with the sandbag. Um, the last set, the third set, I used hand weights just to show a variation if you don't have a sandbag. Um, and I did a little bit lower intensity exercise when it came to the plank because you can do that from the knees. Um, just a little bit about form. I'll just use the hand weights for now. So when you're doing that sandbag lift with a rotation for a press, you're going to start off standing straight and tall, and then you're going to bend down toward the opposite side. And then you're going to lift and press up, pivoting on that toe of the back foot. Then you come down on the other side, just a squat, chin and chest are lifted, good posture. Then you come around and pivot and lift up to the other side. Then back down to that squat, lift up, pivot on that toe, press overhead. Remember, we're not arching the back as we stand. So do your best, keep your best posture, and press up, okay? The next exercise was the hops. And it's just log jumps, so you're taking a high step up over the log and then tapping down. You can do that basic, which is just a step. So that's for the beginners. And then for more advanced, you're adding that hop. I like using the sandbag or a towel as a visual to make sure I'm actually covering a little bit of ground. Beginners also, you don't have to use weights for that squat with the lift and rotation. You can just use your body, lift up. And you don't have to go as deep into the squat as I was going. You can go about halfway down. If you're not quite ready for squats, remember you always have the option of doing the wall squats where you just lean against the wall and hold your squat position. And still a lot of breath. <laughs> okay, the last exercise was the plank. So the main thing you want to remember with the plank is that you want your back to be straight. So whether you're doing plank from the push-up position, plank from the forearms, or plank from the knees, you want to keep your back nice and straight. Don't let it arch down. And don't let it be up in the air. If you get tired during your plank and you need a break, you can pop into this position just to give yourself a little rest. And then come right back down to the flat back position. Okay? You may not be able to achieve that right away, so if you're up just a little bit, that's fine. I'd rather you be up than you be down arching your back or up arching your back. Flat back. And if you have to poke a little higher just to hold your position, then you can do that too. I almost forgot our burpees. So the beginner basic burpee, remember you can come down to the knees, do your push-up, come back up, do a squat. 